I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna give you guys a bit of a background of what it is so that you can understand the whole video so this video actually started with the brother of the wife at the man at the man's house and he was actually um dealing with the man there's some words i don't want to use because i don't know what youtube um youtube sometimes there are some words you can't see on youtube anymore he dealt with the man because like really dealt with him and i'm not going to show that part on youtube he actually dealt with the husband and he said you can't like you know he was giving out to him that you can't keep doing this to my sister you know you can't keep touching my sister i told you i didn't come here for a meeting i come told you i told you i came here to deal with you da, da, da. the whole the brother is actually bigger than the husband and he really did deal with him because from what we have heard he went there angry because it's not the first time that this husband has been dealing with the sister after but after the brother dealt with the husband um i'll let you guys watch this aspect I, I will not show you where the dealing with happened i'll let you guys watch this uh, uh, this side and you will see when the husband told the brother that he is going to delete their sister he said it they should have called the police they should have reported that but they didn't and even in that video the wife was even pleading for the husband okay um i'll let you guys see this right because at the end of the day this husband eventually went to her workplace they, they eventually split up by the way the husband is a pastor they call him a prophet okay at the end of the day the wife moved out okay the wife moved out and she was actually working one day working one day into her workplace she was working in a place called the credit union she was working into this credit union is like a bank credit union is like a bank okay she was working she was working into there and eyewitnesses saw the husband came behind her and deleted her by pointing at the back of her head and he deleted her. So I'll let you guys watch all of this and then I'll come back and say what I want to say. No, no, try me. All right. Try me. Okay. Try me. All right. Try me. All right. Try me. Try me. Try me. Try me. No, no, sorry. Why? It was unnecessary. Don't, don't give me that chance to bring me. Don't do that, yeah. Barbara. What if you came here by yourself? Because you spoil yourself, alright? But isn't this the same sister that you, you fucked up? What did I fuck up about my sister? Yeah. What did I fuck up about my sister? Hey, what did I tell you? Let him go in the room. Perry, leave Perry. him alone. Perry, no. leave him alone. You should go. You don't need this, alright? Okay. Alright. But you are the same person who supported me at the wedding, right? I was supporting you at the wedding you see, because, because you were fake. You are fake. That's the word. You are lying. Uh -uh. Uh -uh, Perry. You are fake. You and everybody that follows you. You are fake. And so what I do because I told you are different. So now you are not like your family. Your sister. Yes, I'm here to do that. Your sister. And I always the pastor pastor. told you that she was a witch. Which pastor? Name I'm a pastor. pastor. Name that pastor. Which pastor I told you my sister? The same sister. Which pastor? Name the pastor. Did you? You, you are a pastor. You. Oh. You don't know whether you are or not you are a pastor, my friend. Get the fuck out of here before I fuck you up. We didn't come here for you. We did not come here for you. Don't let me don't let me hurt you. Leave. We didn't come here for you. We came to can, like I, can I promise you something? Promise me. If I don't kill your sister, then me. I am sick. You got the video, right? Yeah, I got right, it. I call the cops. No, it's No, call the cops, Jane. Don't, don't. No. Barbara, stop that. Tanya. You don't play with threats like this. Jen, I'm calling the cops. No, 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 you don't play with threats. Please call the cops. It should escalate. He's threatening you in front of me. He said he's going to kill you. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? All right, just make sure it's there so we can go. If that's it, let's go. Let's just get the hell out of here. Is, is it it? Yeah. Okay. Make sure it's... Let's get out of here. We ain't coming here no more, Bobby. You, you, you lost all You heard what he said? My is there anything else you need to get? Yeah. Baba, we're yeah, done. Whatever you want to get. Yeah, we're done. Oh, you lost all this. No, I'm going to come back for it. You're going to come back for what? No, it's okay. It's okay, Baba. It's another debt that can be paid off. Debt is debt. You cannot replace debt with life. And vice versa. It's gone. This is all. This ain't yours no more. Imagine if you come here by yourself. Even with us over here, he still attacked you. Fabia, don't play with these things. Why is this a joke you? may not want to have him arrested, but you have to I make a police this. report. You have to have a police report for future sake. 
the police need to make a report. No, I'm going to use this so you can get a restraining order. Yeah. You, and make sure he's not coming in. Can you come look for my glasses? For me? Look for my glasses right and make sure he's not coming in. If he fell over there when he struck Watch your car. Make sure he's not doing anything. Oh, I'll fuck him up. Don't go outside. Just look. If I don't kill your sister, then me, I am sick. You got the video, right? Yeah. Just as the Navy Federal Credit Union was opening at 9 this morning, police say a man fatally shot one of the bank's female employees in front of the door. The guy was walking behind her. I don't know if she knew he was there or not, but he was walking and he had the gun in his hand. Lisa, who asked us not to use her last name, witnessed the shooting. She was waiting in her car for the bank to open when she saw the female victim exit the bank, move her parked car from the front to the side of the building, and then walk back towards the entrance. Lisa does not think the victim knew the man with the gun was behind her and says no words were exchanged between the two. She took a few steps, and the next thing I know is he raised his hand with a gun in it, and he shot her. Lisa said the shooter took off, and so did the line of people who'd been waiting for the bank to open. As I'm running, I hear like three or four more shots, and I, when I came back, that she was lying on the ground. Police say the shooter and the victim had a relationship. They also say the entire incident was recorded on surveillance video. By 10 a.m., Orlando's chief of police put out a plea to the shooter saying if he was listening, he should turn himself in. Witnesses, including Lisa, say they will be anxious until the shooter is in police custody. He could have shot any of us. Sylvester Ofori was very subdued and quiet while facing a judge this afternoon. He's accused of murdering his wife, Barbara Tommy, as she went to work at Navy Federal Credit Union on Tuesday morning. Prosecutors telling the judge today the killing was caught on video. Video surveillance, which shows Mr. Ofori not only shoot his wife, but then stand over her body and put additional rounds into her head. Afori is pastor of this church, Floodgates of Heaven, on Coburn Avenue in Orlando. No one answered the door here today, but on his Facebook page, Afori calls himself a prophet. He's got quite a social media following where he's, you know, speaks to his followers and uh, called himself a prophet. His followers. After the shooting, police went to this apartment building on Raleigh Street where Afori and Tommy had at one point lived together. Investigators say they brought the SWAT team and eventually found him in the home. We had a good feeling that he was going to be in there. Um, we don't believe there was any risk to the public or, or immediate danger to the public. Police have not said what led up to the attack, but we are told Tommy and Afori were getting a divorce. Court records also show that in 2016, Afori was arrested for resisting an officer who responded to an argument between the two. Someone committed a heinous act of violence towards a loved one, um, and there's unfortunately no excuse for that. Uh, you see, this is not even about a pastor or not being a pastor. That is not even about it. This is about domestic issues. Domestic, um, this is about dom domestic violence. That it should not be tolerated. It should not, never, ever be tolerated. You know, regardless of the fact that he's a pastor. But on the other hand as well, you know, there's, just, there's no way his church members would have known that this was going on in that home. They come to church well-dressed, sitting at the altar, and they don't look at them like, oh, pastor, you know, pastor, missus. And people wouldn't know what happens behind closed doors. Another area I want to address is the area of people back home in Africa. These people are Ghanaians, as far as I know. Most people back home, they hear that a woman called the police to, you know, the police. Ah, how can you call the police on your husband? They don't realize what would make a woman to call the police. And you can see from the video that the wife is quiet and she's been tolerating this for a long time. We want people back home talk about it. Ah, she called police for her husband. How can she call police for, their, for her husband? I made a video about something like this before. These are the reasons why women should call the police when their lives are at risk. At the end of the day, that life is gone, never to come back. Gone permanently. But some women never call police because of the stigma. Oh. You know, I don't want the stigma. Family back home would say and would say, now she's gone. She's gone. Something else I want to say. 
that I really wanted to talk about is there's been a recent argument of you know people that have been married for 55 years 100 years whatever and they look at them as the benchmark as the standard you know and this is a pastor and people are gonna be saying, oh they're married for how many years married for how many years nobody knows what is actually going on in the so-called married for how many years people think because the couple have been together for many years means that uh, they, they you know they are the experts at describing marriages experts are giving marriage and I bet you this pastor the so-called pastor, prophet, would have been given marriage counseling. But people wouldn't know what happens in his own home. So this idea of thinking because people have been married for a long time, they are the ones that have all the answers. They are the ones, ah, you cannot... There's been an argument recently. Who are you to speak when the man that has been married for 55 years, a man that has been married for 30 years, a man, and all I'm saying is this. Don't judge by the number of years. Like the saying goes, some people are in marriages that they are enduring. They are not enjoying. So let's not be using the number of years as a criteria. Okay? Let's not be using it as a criteria. And finally, any woman that you know that you're going through something like this, there is only one life. Don't waste your life. It's not worth it. People will talk. If you walk away from your marriage, people will talk. No matter what you do in this life, people will talk. But let people talk while you are still alive to even have a life. It's only God that knows your story. I really wanted to share that and I hope and I hope that it speaks to somebody today you only have one life don't waste it it's not worth it it is not worth it if you need to run for your life run for your life I really hope that a video like this will make many women think about this and make the right decision and with that I'm gonna say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye